Hello Java developers, we are here today to see how we can connect a microservice A to a microservice B using a TypeSafe REST client from MicroProfile. So follow me. If we go to start.microprofile.io, we can generate a project for our test. So let me create here REST demo. I will use the MicroProfile version 3.2, which is not the latest, but it's the, the latest version available uh, that has a runtime available. I'm choosing Halidon with Java 11. And I will select here Type Safe REST Client and download the source code. Now that I have extracted the file, let me go to the folder, Downloads, REST Demo, and here we can see that we have Service A and Service B. Let me open, let, first, let me open uh, the source code in the IDE and also start the service B. Plain package. Now we run Java R target demo, REST demo. And we can see that the server is running on the port 8180. So let me open it. And let's look for the REST endpoint. We can open the source code of the service B. And we see that it uh, is running under data, client, and the endpoint is client service with a parameter. So if I use here client service Raphael, it will return process parameter value Raphael. Okay, now what if I want to you to connect from a service A to this REST endpoint running on service B? Well, we can use of course JAX-RS client, which became available on the JAX-RS specification 2.0. But look here what we can do. We can create a type safe client. Like for example, I can create a, a service interface that represents my service B with a, a, a name of the operation, the return parameter, and also the parameters that we can pass to our connection. Then we just need to register this interface as a REST client using the register REST client annotation. And of course, if this is a GET invocation, we will use get here, uh, the path, and that interface can be used here inside service B. So every time that I invoke here uh, service, let me refactor that to make it more clear. So every time that I, I access service B, I can perform the operation passing a parameter here and also consuming the return. That's what's happening here on service A. So let's start service A. Maven plain package. Java dash, dash jar target rest demo. Running on port 8080. And here we have the, the rest client test page, which basically invokes on the service A, data client test parameter value. We can substitute here for anything. I, can, I will use Raphael. And then Raphael will be passed as a parameter to this microservice here. And this parameter here will be passed to service B through the service interface. And you might ask me, how can I, uh, I, I can provide the name, the, the operation, uh, the path for that operation, the method, parameter, the return, but how can I specify the URL of that service? Well, that's really simple. We can uh, provide the name of the interface here as a, a value with slash mp rest slash URL in the destination for that uh, connect for that for that service. If we Google for microprofile REST client, 
we can go to the download.eclipse.org. There is a documentation for the client, a uh, REST client for micro profile. And we can look for the inter integration with the config API that I presented in the previous video. Here we can see the, all the configuration keys available, like uh, I showed MP REST URL, MP REST URI, REST scope providers, uh, including connect timeout and read timeout. I hoped that you liked this tip for today. For more contents like this, please subscribe to this channel. Also, click on the like button that will help me a lot and follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Rafa Bene. And I'm creating a series of videos for MicroProfile APIs. And after that, there will be more content related to cloud native application. So keep in touch. See you in the next video. Bye bye.